In this week's assignment, you will be converting a, a video file from the WebM format to the MP4 format. And this is so that you can have two different formats available to the browser. And the brow different browsers prefer different formats and will choose which ones they want to use. So you need to make that MP4 format and you're going to do that on your local workstation. And this drawing I want to share with you is to help you visualize the movement of these files uh, and the way that you can deal with processing them and getting them into GitHub. It's a very large file, so that puts a strain both on GitHub and Code Anywhere as they're cloud-based. Um, in particular, GitHub doesn't want anything bigger than 100 meg, and this will be less than that because GitHub is maintaining diffs on every checkout that you where you change one of the files and when you have this many bytes to diff on it can get hard and so there are limits but let's just look at um, what's going to be moving around how it's going to move and then we'll look a little at doing the actual moving so uh, you're starting out on code anywhere you've cloned the repo you've got it set up um, and you've got an MP, uh, you know, you've got a WebM file given to you. So just to take a look here, down in video, you will be given this Monkey 1080p WebM, and you'll be wanting to turn it into a an MP4. Uh, and so the way that you'll start is to download this file. Let's go back and look at this picture. So you'll use your term, you actually for the downloading, you can just right click on the WebM file and you'll see there's a download and it, it will download it probably to your download directory locally. Once it's there, you will have installed Handbrake. So you can, um, you can actually go to Handbrake here and you can find out how to install it on whether you're on Windows or on the Mac. Uh, and this will just be a program that it's discussed and described. There's a walkthrough in this week's assignment. So you'll convert, you'll use Handbrake to convert the WebM to the MP4. It'll be sitting on your downloads directory probably. And then you'll want to get it back into code anywhere. And in the, in, in the, Old days, a little bit while ago, um, you it was too big for Code Anywhere. I've since discovered that you can do that. So I've got a copy of the file on my hard drive, and I've it's converted to an MP4. So I can just go ahead and upload it. So this this should work. You can see it's 54 meg, um, and I'll let that run. Um, And when it's done, we should be able to refresh it. But th there may be problems with it. So that's why we have this other technique for getting it up to code anywhere. So let's see, we have the test open. I'm giving this another try. Um, it didn't seem to work. Let's try doing the drag and drop. So we can go upload and let's try dragging it on there. Okay, so there's an error there. Okay, we're getting an error. All right, so sometimes it's not going to work to do it that way. So let's look at the other technique. Although I would recommend trying it because if it does it will save you some time. So that's the upload once you've done the conversion locally. Um, and the download of course is how you got the MP, the WebM down there. So the other way is to use GitHub Desktop and in this case we're going to get a local uh, program called GitHub Desktop that can talk to GitHub and we'll, we'll, we'll end up pushing our, our uh, MP4 up to the GitHub repo, and then from there we can go back to Code Anywhere and pull it into Code Anywhere. So let's take a look at how this might work. Um, I have downloaded this 
GitHub desktop. So you want to go out here to desktop GitHub and download this. And this will be a program that you can load on your hard drive. Now, there's some examples of it in this week's video, but they've changed a little bit. So hopefully this will give you the updated look at GitHub desktop. So I'll open that up. And I'm going to first clone my repository. So let's just grab embedded. Now this could take a while. I might skip ahead in the tape, but let's go ahead and clone that. And you'll see it's going to be cloning it down to my local hard drive. Okay, so this, this may take a while because we've got some big files in there. All right, so now that we've cloned it, let's say I want to go get this into my GH Pages branch. So you can put it into either branch through this. Um, and then what I'm going to do is to, in order for this, in order for it to be added back to GitHub, I need to get this into the local repository. So when I did this clone, you can see this link down here, open this repository. It actually um, made a copy of this repository down on my hard drive, and it puts it under this documents GitHub. So you can see here's, this was just now copied down to my hard drive. And so what I need to do now is to uh, copy my test video, which you'll be naming it Monka 1080 MP4, but I've already got that, so I don't want to use that twice. Um, and so what will happen then is um, I have this, uh, let's see, got my downloads in here, and here's my MP4. So I'm going to want to copy that, say, I'm going to control C that in documents, GitHub video. So I'm copying it into there. Let's try that again. Uh, documents, see, downloads, test. So I'm control C that and then go to my GitHub video, control B. Okay, so now I've got it copied. Now I'll go back in here. And you can see it actually copied this DS store, which I'm not going to actually check that in. That's one of the directories that I want to really ignore, but I won't worry about that. These are just uh, Mac record keeping uh, folders. But anyway, I got my MP4 in there. And so what I want to do next is to, so they've essentially been added. And uh, I want to now commit them and then push them. And you can see there's a commit here, but it's waiting for a message. So um, add test MP4 to repo. And there's room for a description. And so then I can now commit this. So this is like doing your get commit dash m, only we're doing it from this GUI program. And I say commit, and now I can come over here and do a push. So we just click on push, and this will end up pushing all of these files out to the GitHub repo. So now, let's say I go out to this GitHub repo. Um, so this is my, my account here, my repos, my embedded media, and under media, video, And GH pages. I've got this test. So now I've done this. I have moved this local file out to GitHub. 
Now I want to bring it into Code Anywhere, so I'm going to use a, a GitHub, a Git pull. So back in Code Anywhere, I'm actually, um, oh, let's see, looks like I'm stuck here. I'm going to re reload this. And let's close all these. And we'll go to an SSH terminal. Get status. So I want to be in GH pages when I do this. And huh, looks like it, it looks like it did add that in the upload. It just gave me some funny messages. Well, I'm gonna delete that. So that upload did work. It just didn't appear to work. Okay, so now I'll, I have some modifications in here, but that's not of any concern. What I really want to do is do my get pull. So I'm in GH Pages. I just type in get pull. Okay, and you can see it pulled all of that, those DS stores, all those files that I copied onto the desktop. And if I click on this refresh, let's see, it should give me, sometimes it's a little slow, but there it is. So I've got the test any test up in there. So that those are two ways, the upload and, and now I'm getting an a, a, a large file. And I'm going to say cancel. We don't want to open that. In fact, I'm going to delete this for now because I don't really need it. And I like to keep these large files out of my code if I can. Um, and so by doing that, I probably get status. I show it as deleted. And I think I will, I will delete it from GitHub. And the way I can do that is just do a get add the media video test. Media video test MP4. Get status. Uh, let's see. Get. Uh, I'll just do get add dot. Oh, we need to get add dash dash all to get rid of things. So get status. And there, those are both ready to be committed. Get commit dash m remove test or get push. Okay, so now I've gotten rid of it. And if I go back over to my repo, it should be gone. But that is the process that you can use to move some code around, either the upload, download, or run it through the Git desktop. So I hope that helps.